Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 5 sixths to a decimal. Now when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. So for 5 sixths, we can set this up as 5 divided by 6. Then we go through the division process. So we have 5 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 5? How many 6s in 5? Well, we can't do that. So we need to use a decimal and a 0 in order to work through this. Now once we have that decimal and the 0, we need to bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer, will be. And now we can think of this as 50 divided by 6. So how many whole groups of 6 in 50? How many 6s in 50? Well, 8. That gets us to 48. And let me extend the division bar here. Now make sure the 8 is above the 0. Since we used that 0 and thought of this as 50 divided by 6. And that will line us up correctly. Now we multiply. 8 times 6 is 48. Subtract. 50 minus 48 is 2. So we don't have that clean cut 0 at the bottom. So we can continue on by using another 0 that we can bring down. So now we have 20. 20 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 20? How many 6s in 20? Well, 3. That gets us to 18. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract. 20 minus 18 is 2. So let's use another 0 to continue on. So we get 20 again. 20 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2 again. And you may start recognizing a pattern here. And this is going to give us a repeating decimal. So if we use another zero that we can bring down, we get 20 again. 20 divided by six is three. Multiply, three times six is 18. Subtract, and then another two. So this is going to continue on forever. It's going to repeat forever. So these threes repeat and continue on forever. So we can write this repeating decimal as 0 0.83, and then we put a bar above the 3 to show that that digit repeats. So 5 sixths equals 0 0.83, and the 3 is repeating. Now another option as far as writing out repeating decimals is to round. And we can round to whatever place we would like. But for this example, we're going to round to the tenths place and hundredths. Let's start with the tenths. So 5 sixths is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding. It's not exact. Well, we have an 8 in the tenths with a 3 in the hundredths. So this rounds to 8 tenths. 5 sixths is approximately 8 tenths. Now let's round to the hundredths. Five sixths is approximately, we have a three in the hundredths with a three in the thousandths. So this rounds to 83 hundredths. Five sixths is approximately 83 hundredths. So some different options there as far as writing out a repeating decimal. We can use a bar above the repeating digit or digits to show that they repeat or we can round. So there you have it. There's how to convert 5 sixths to a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.